The last step in um, writing this contract is we do need to add in those documents of uh, that were on the MLS that the listing agent had provided, such as the selling, uh, seller's disclosures and anything else that goes with this contract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to HAR, and I'm going to click on the magnifying glass next to that MLS number. Right here it says attachments, and down here we need we have the MUD HOA survey. I said that my buyers are going to buy their own survey, so in that case I don't need this one. I do need the seller's disclosures, so I'm going to click on this. You notice it opens up a PDF on this, and then I'm going to go ahead and save this to my computer. Um, so I'll just save this as HOA. Just put it, put it wherever you're going to find it. Make sure you pay attention to where you're saving it. And then I'm going to save save the seller's disclosures. And I'm going to save. And what I'm doing now is really how you upload anything to Dot Loop from your computer. So now I'm going to go back to Dot Loop. And um, I'm going to go to Add Document. And instead of from templates this time, it's going to be from computer because it's not a contract that is blank it's something that is I've saved to my computer so let's say I needed to upload their pre-approval letter to my um, dot loop it's, I'd be doing the same thing so now I'm going to go I'm going to click on seller's disclosures and control in that HOA document as well and now I've got this HOA um, now I'm, scroll, I'm going to scroll through it real quick and you notice well, there's more than just the HOA addendum there. There's three different separate con or forms. So what I'm going to do is I need to go ahead and split this up. So before I add initials or signatures, I'm going to go to other actions, split document. I'm going to split it in three because there was three separate documents here. Um, it just so happens each one of them is only one page. So the page numbers are already done for me. If not, then you would just put your own page numbers. Um, that first one, it was the HOA. The second one is a disclosure of residential uh, relationship, or excuse me, disclosure of re relationship with a residential service company. You actually don't have to spell the whole thing out, and you could shorten it. Um, and then the very last one is the notice to purchase certain real property and water district, which is also called the mud. So I'm going to go ahead and split that now. Okay, it says your document has been split into three files. So what I'm going to do is go hit back. And there they are right there. Now, if you remember on that how to fill out the um, HOA addendum video, we actually already filled one out saying that we we're going to ask the sellers to pay for the HOA documents. Well, on the one the listing agent put on the MLS, it's saying my buyers don't require it. Um, if you've watched that other video, we, we talked about this, and um, ultimately, I would like my buyers to go ahead and receive it, because then if they find something in the HOA documents that doesn't line up with their reason to purchase this home, then they have a time period where they can get out of the contract and get their earnest money back. This does not allow them out of the contract and getting their earnest money back. So it doesn't really protect them. So I don't want to use this one um, unless I am up against multiple offer situations and my buyers say, yeah, let's go ahead and do this as a negotiation tactic um, to kind of give the sellers what they're looking for so I can get, or my buyers can get what they're looking for. In this case, I'm not going to use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the little drop down arrow. I'm going to archive it. Um, and then I've got these two. So I've got the MUD, which my buyers do need to sign. You'll notice down here there's a spot for the purchaser to sign, but there's no signature field, so I'm going to hit Add Signature. And I'm going to assign field. I'm going to assign it to Bill. And then do the same thing over here. And assign field and sign it to Sue. And that's it. All they have to do is sign it. I'm going to hit Save. And back. And I'm going to do the same thing with this uh, disclosure of residential service relationship. Now, um, this is something that our broker doesn't require. However, some other companies do require, or the broker does require it. All it's saying is basically we're not being paid by an additional outside um, home warranty company. Um, they're not paying us any kind of referral fees in order to recommend them to our clients. 
You'll notice right here we have to either check the box that we are not being paid by them or we are, but you can't check on it because it's a PDF. So what I'm going to do is hit other actions, add checkbox, put it right here, and then I can put a check mark in it. Um, right here, there's a spot for text, so I'm going to add text. I need to put my broker's name and license number. And then right here is going to be a spot for my signature. I'm going to sign field and go right up here. Go ahead and sign that. And then my buyers need to be able to sign as well. Just acknowledging that um, they understand we're not being paid by a, a home warranty company. And I'm going to save. And hit back. Okay, and the other additional document I need is the seller's disclosures. So um, again, the buyers need to read through these, make sure that they understand the condition of the property um, and address any kind of concerns that might come up before making that offer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, there's the initial spot, so I'm gonna go other actions, add initials, and do the same thing right here. And then you need to assign the fields. We've got Bill and assign it to Sue. And you're going to have to do that on each page. I'm not going to go ahead and do these um, blanks right here because you just saw me do it on the first page. Just make sure you do it. And then the very last page, you're going to have to come down here and add the signature. Also, it says printed name. Make sure you add their printed name as well. So add name. So I'm going to put Bill Cooper. Do the same thing over here for his wife. Okay, and then um, here is Remax's like addendum to seller's disclosures like we have, but it's for their brokerage. So I'm going to add the buyer's signature here and signature here. And when they electronically sign it, it'll actually put a timestamp date on it. So um, it's okay if you don't actually, actually add the dates over here. You just need to make sure that they, if they were to um, physically sign it, they put the date here. So I'm going to hit save. And back. So now you officially have all the documents you need to send um, to submit an offer. So what I'm going to do is I would click on all the documents I need to send to the agent, which is the one to four family, the third party addendum, the addendum for property subject to mandatory membership, the seller's disclosures, the disclosure of relationship and the MUD, and of course their pre-approval. And what I would do is I would hit download. And there we go. It downloaded right over here. And um, once I download it, I just save it to my computer, it's page one out of 22. Save it to my computer, go to my email, compose an email to that listing agent and just attach it right here. So um, that is the best way to send an offer to a listing agent. Um, so that's it. Now you've officially made an offer for your buyers.